Well, the results are in for the Red Lake Band of Ojibwe's general election. Eight different races, 40 candidates in all participating. The headliner, the tribal chairman election, where incumbent Daryl Seeky Sr. faced former chairman Floyd Buck Jordan and three other candidates. Seeky Sr. defeated Jordan by a little more than 600 votes in the 2014 election. Now, in order to win the general election, a candidate needs more than 50% of the total vote. If no one gets more than 50%, the top two candidates then move on to a runoff election at a future date. And that is what happened in most of the races, including the tribal chairman contest, where Jordan picked up 45.84% of the vote and Siki gathered 39.99% of the vote. And now these are all official certified results, I should remind you. In the election for tribal secretary, Darwin Sumner and Sam Strong were the top two vote getters. They move on to the runoff election. There'll be a runoff for tribal treasurer as well with incumbent Annette Johnson and Chad Prentice moving on. The Little Rock representative race with a four-year term had three candidates and Adrian Bolio was declared the winner with just over 50% of the vote. The Little Rock representative race with a two-year term will go to a runoff with Michelle Barrett Cobanes and William Billy Green, the top vote getters. The incumbent Gary L. Nelson Sr. wins the Panema representative election with 58.29% of the vote. Ten candidates for the Red Lake representative, as expected, though no one close to the 50% threshold. So the top vote getters, Donald L. Good Sr. and David Desjarle, move on to the runoff election. And the Redby representative race had seven candidates. Incumbent Julius Toady Thunder was the top vote getter. He'll face the second place finisher, Thomas Westbrook, in the runoff. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.